What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and this time, can you believe it, we're not directly talking about spending. This time, we are focused on heroes. I've been getting this question left and right, hey Miyagi, I'm in this gen, which heroes should I get? Hey Miyagi, I'm in that gen, which heroes should I get? So here I am answering all of your questions, the entire thing, from start to finish. Some of the parts you may want to skip because you already know them, but we're going to go through the whole thing. As you guys know, I've been using Paxify for many, many months now. It's never been easier, safer and faster to grow in Whiteout Survival. I already saved over 20,000 US dollars just by using their services. And many of you did too. If you haven't heard about Paxify yet, let me put you onto the game changer that thousands and thousands of other players already use today. Paxify specializes in saving you up to 35% on any Whiteout Survival pack. Download the Paxify app through the links in the description and when purchasing credits, use my creator code MIYAGI with a capital M if you want to contribute to my channel and me. It's 100% free to use but means the world to me. Thanks again to my long-term partners Paxify for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get back to it. So, I want to make a few ground rules before we get started. In this video, you're often going to hear me, uh, hear me define rally leaders or rally joiners. What you need to be careful of and what you need to be aware of is where you are in the food chain, I guess we can call it. If you are a rally joiner, it doesn't matter for you technically to get heroes to five stars. You only need the good joining heroes to four stars because then at four stars, you are you can get the skills and especially the top right skill. If you watch my rally guide, the top right skill to the to the max level <laughs> so the idea is if you're rally joiner just need you need to know what you need to do what you need to spend on if you're a minimal spender low spender or even free to play where you need to put your items towards obviously with rally leaders all this video is technically speaking irrelevant um because as a rally lead you should always be aiming to get the newest heroes all maxed out right so because that's a thing, I will also define if you are as a rally leader for a smaller alliance, which many of you might are, then you might not have the money to go for all the heroes. I will tell those that want a good strong lineup and our rally leader which heroes to focus on and I will also say who is a good joiner. So let's get into it. All right. I want to talk about a quick way how to get general shards because general shards start to get really, really relevant after Gen 1. So the only way to consistently acquire general shards is through your VIP level. That being said, you get a uh, amount of shards every day and this books, but you will notice later in the game, these books really become irrelevant. So these are the general shards. Per VIP level, you get a certain amount of general shards. Starting at VIP 7, you get one general shard per day, right? Obviously, the higher your VIP level is, the more general shards you get per day. That's a rough idea. You can also acquire um, general shards from the VIP shop. But wait, I would not suggest any free to play low or mid spender to acquire general shards with gems. You will understand later why I mean that but it will make sense later. So basically the only way to get free general shards, there are some packs like the Justice Bazaar, for example, it's a special pack. You don't know when it will drop and you will need to obviously buy the whole rounds to, to get general shards, but th that's pretty much the only pack you can get for general shards. The rest is just through some events. Obviously you can win um, these uh, skin events, for example, that will also give you the, um, the general shards, but only a hundred. You need to compare what, how strong is your server, how strong will the people be that will be pushing with you, is it worth the input for the output, right? You get 
100 general shards at first, which is not bad. So that's the general parts uh, shards covered. Um, I'm not going to talk about the purple shards because, because that you just get those shards for recruitment, hero hall, whatever. It's it's pretty much you can get that free to play. All right. Gen 1 hero, which includes Zinman, Molly, Natalia and Geronimo. These four heroes are not going to be your best friends. I can already tell you that right now. The only heroes you technically, if you're not a rally lead that's willing to spend, are not going to last for long. But there's two that will which are Natalia and Geronimo. These two, and especially Geronimo, as if you're a relative that's willing to spend, is going to be your best friend. Geronimo is so broken in a sense that you can use him until Gen 7, right? Gen 7, when it starts that the newer gens have so much more stats that it just outweighs Geronimo's huge, huge, huge offensive boost. Geronimo is your go-to offensive person. Okay, now that we have said that, we can just wipe off Molly and Zimman. But who we're going to keep is Natalia. Natalia is obviously the budget version of um, of Geronimo. Some people even swear on her o over Geronimo in Bear. Um, we personally use Geronimo. If you have him, use him. Um, and what makes Geronimo much better is his rally skill as well. Because his uh, rally joiner skill is, also, uh, is much, much better, which gives a guaranteed chance. Here it's just a stun chance of 20%. Um, also, the overall buff that was added to Natalia. The first overall buff was added to Geronimo and then was added to Natalia. The first overall buff is much, much better on Geronimo than it is for anybody else because Geronimo gives, even in if he's not present in the rally, 15%, which is insane. Right. So, Natalia and Geronimo. Who are you going to get and how you acquire them? I mean, it's pretty much easy. Geronimo is everything after VIP 7, I think. Yep. So Natalia is everything up to Gen uh, VIP 6. And then Geronimo is everything after VIP 7, which obviously makes it much more expensive. You can also acquire Geronimo in the first Hall of Chiefs. Hall of Chiefs is an event where you save your, sh uh, save your items to push and get points. This concept will get very, very familiar with you since you will be doing this all the way through the game, um, which I will get to in a second when we get to Gen 2. So if you have the extra coins to get Geronimo maxed, you can. If you are free to play or low spender, mid spender, you can still push depending on your server for the first Hall of Chiefs to get some free shards for Geronimo because it is worth it, right? If you don't have the extra coins and you can push for the first Hall of Chiefs, don't. Just get Natalia. Um, I mean, it's still super, super expensive if you consider it, but she will last you in bear for a lifetime, pretty much. There still hasn't been another offensive hero besides Natalia and Geronimo. And I still don't think that Whiteout is ever going to drop another offensive hero, right? Um, obviously, the stats from the, the, the newer gen are after Gen 7 are too strong to still use him in battle, but for Bear Trap, he's still super, super useful. All right, Gen 1 covered. Oh, one more thing. Don't put your shots to general shots towards Zinman and don't push Molly too hard. You could if you have to, then push Molly. If not, don't do any of those two. Especially don't buy anything for them. For Arena, I'm gonna give you a quick arena lineup for Gen 1. Um, it could be Natalia up front with Sergey, and then you can have Jesse as a Lancer, and then as a marksman. I actually like Cloris a lot in the Gen 1 because she has a very um, big AoE. And uh, you could, for example, use um, you can use Li Ling Shuang or you can use Xiu Yong, so someone like that, right? If you do have Molly, then do put Molly in for the last marksman, so you run with two lancers. All right, Gen One covered. Let's move to Gen Two, which is Flint, Alonzo, and Philly, right? Or oh, Flint, Philly, and Alonzo in that way is correct. So, talking about those three heroes. The concept that you've gotten to know from Gen 1 completely changes. First of all, and this is the biggest factor, you can now use general shards. So use them if you have the extra change. If not, I will tell you which heroes you might want to use them on. But watch the whole video first and then make your decision based on that. All right. There's three ways, three ways to get um, these heroes. Each one has a specific way to get them. Might be two for, for some, but hear me out. This is how the, ma the main ways to acquire them. 
there's always one hero that's lucky wheel and it never be the same so if you have one hero gen uh, infantry hero lucky wheel the next hero gen it will definitely not be an infantry hero the second one is through hall of heroes which is straight up just pur pur purchasing oh my god <laughs> purchasing that hero the third way is winning koi and svs prep okay that term is new hall of chiefs is only during gen one it will then change into koi which is king of icefield which is an event that you can win in state and out of state so it compares several states the winner of in state gets 300 shards of that koi hero and the winner in some states combined it's never all states it's not going to be all states in your neighborhood it can be a whole variety of different here uh, states that gets an extra 100 shards so if you win both you get 400 in total svs prep which is state versus state the prep stage whoever gets more points with items wins and gets to attack the other uh, server or fight the sun ca sunfire castle on the other server same principle you get 300 shards winning the SVS prep, which is compared with you and your enemy state. And then you get 100 extra shards for winning the battle phase, not who wins the Sunfire, who scores the most points during the battle phase, which also includes attacking cities in SVS if you have that rule set or outside of SVS. But more on SVS in a different video. All right, now we have the three ways we know here. Now we're going to talk about which in Gen 2 is actually acquired which way. Flint is going to be your lucky wheel hero. Which now let's specify what that actually means. Lucky Wheel is a spin you can do where you can either purchase the spins or you can use your gems. And now for the smart ones, uh, you know that using gems is a possibility to get something without actually having to pay for it, right? You can save up gems and then use them. So the Lucky Wheel hero is the free to play and low spender's best friend. You might not be able to always go for the lucky wheel hero to get him to four stars every gen, but you can get for, you can get the specific one and you can get them for free. So Flint is a lucky wheel hero. If you've went for Natalia or Geronimo, you could technically skip Flint. But assuming that you're willing to put money and you've gotten Natalia and you've gotten Geronimo, get Flint as well. If you just spend once and you don't want to spend anymore, that's Flint. But I can't obviously account for every scenario there is in this game. So, Alonzo is the Hall of Heroes hero. A lot of heroes in that sentence. He's straight up purchasing, if I'm not mistaken, it's about $555 to get him maxed. Again, rally joiners, no need max. Is Alonzo a good rally joiner? You can check with this skill. Alonzo's massive waste grants all troops attack a chance of stunning the tag for one troop. So, not really too well. None of these are, right? None of these are. Philly is a decent one. He's like a hybrid. He, you can use him for both attacking and defensive. But Philly is a hero for um, the winning SVS and KY. So, either you save or you save the first Hall of Chiefs and now are trying to get Philly, you have a chance. If you're low spender, mid spender, free to play, I highly doubt it. Because, but really depends on your server, right? How many worlds are there, blah, blah, blah. So, from this hero gen, you technically only ha can get flint. If you want to save the money, don't go for any three of those because, hear me out, in gen three, which is Mia, uh, which is Logan, Mia, and Greg, Mia is going to be your lucky wheel hero. Mia is an interesting joiner. She's more of a chance hero and therefore can be good as a rally lead and as a joiner. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it if you have someone like Jesse, if you want to play it safe, right? We we don't use Mia as joining, for example, right? We use Jesse, Jesser, Seo Young, and then you can use Patrick for defense and also the new uh, Lung Schwing or <laughs> whatever her name is. Right, but back to Gen 3. Mia is your lucky wheel hero, which now means you've gotten Flynn for free, technically, and you've gotten Mia for free. Again, if you're a rally joiner and you're not going to lead rallies, four stars is perfectly fine. If you want to push yourself up, that's also fine. I've seen enough people do that as well. Means um, you got Flint and Mia. Infantry, Lance, you're covered. All right. Logan is going to be your Hall of Heroes hero. And Greg is going to be your SVS KOI hero. What I would do is I would save my items through the first gen, only get Flint, and then push my items to get Greg. 
as your marksman hero, which then gives you a full set. Greg and Alonzo are very, very uh, similar, but Greg you can acquire because you push your items during SVS KY. Alonzo is just straight up buying. One more thing that's very interesting is, I think starting at Gen 3 or Gen 4, the Gina's hero missions will turn into missions for, la for uh, later Gen heroes. So, for example, in Gen 3, you can start to get, uh, in Gen 4, you can start to get Gen 2 heroes for free through Intel, Gina's, uh, Gina's hero missions, which is super, right? So you will just get these heroes anyways, just much later on. Okay, so. Now you technically, if you followed the plan that I would be going, you have Flint, Mia and Greg. You have a full lineup already, which two are from the newest gen. So during gen three, you should be golden. All right. Now we're moving on to gen four, which now things get interesting. You now have a marksman hero that is Lucky Wheel. That means you could technically also skip Greg and then go for Lin because Lin actually is useful the gen after even for defense. Amos is going to be your KOI and SVS prep hero. I would skip him. He's useless in that sense. And I'll tell you why later. Reyna is an amazing fighter for Bear and as a joiner since she gives 30% combined, which is amazing. You should be going for Reyna if you can. She's a Hall of Heroes hero. If you have that extra coins to spare, or put your general shards to her, Reyna is the GOAT in that sense, right? If you could put gener the general shards towards Geronimo, I would do it too. These two are golden for bear and uh, also for attacking scenarios. Um, not in Gen 7 anymore, but she does do a well job for, for a few gens. All right, so now we technically have Lin, Mia and Flint, right? This is our lineup. Now in Gen 6, we, tech we get Hector, Nora and Gwen. Okay, Hector is your lucky wheel hero. That's why I told you to skip MOs. Hector is really good. You can use him for that uh, for that hero gen. Amazing hero. And he's lucky wheel, so he's free to play. Nora is going to be your uh, SVS KY prep hero. And Nora, if you haven't used your shards for Reyna, you can put him towards Nora. Nora is not going to be your bear hero, but what Nora does is she has a truly amazing top right skill which is amazing for rallies 15 percent on both super super good we used her for a long damn long time during svs um so amazing gwen is gonna be your hall of heroes hero but gwen is an amazing hero for arena right so if you want to get gwen if you want to have a good arena lineup do spend on her i wouldn't suggest it but you can right so now we should have hector mia uh, or reyna technically we have hector reyna and then, uh, uh, who was our marksman hero again? I completely forgot. Greg? Uh, no, Lin. Sorry, Hector, Lin, and Mia, right? Let's let's stick stick to our free-to-play. Plus, you probably have some older heroes now with a lot of shards because you've gotten them three to, to, free through <laughs> Gina Heroes mission. All right. So, obviously, as rally leads, I'll stress that issue one more time. You will get all of these. If you want to be a big player, you want to run with the big guys, you need to be able to spend the money. And if you're smart, you use Paxify and you use my creator code Miyagi. But again, so let's move on to Gen... Uh, I think this is Gen 7 now, if I'm not mistaken. I might, I might have messed that up. But let's just, you know, Rene, Wuling and Wayne. Those heroes. <laughs> okay, so your lucky wheel hero is now going to be Rene, the clown. So I might like her. Some might not. I I hope it's with her. <laughs> but this one will exchange your Mia. So now you're Hector, Lin, and Rene. I wouldn't say that's so bad. You're you're two C, uh, two gens behind, right? Plus you have all the other maybe good joiners um, uh, ready to go by now because with this gen, Reyna becomes free to play because you can get her from Gina Heroes missions and Intel. So Rene, Luke Wuling, and Wayne. With this gen, it's quite difficult. I would actually skip on both Wuling and Wayne. I would only get the free to free to play hero Rene up to four stars if you're joiner, up to five stars if you're relegated. Uh, because in Gen eight or seven, kind of lost count at this point. Um, there's two heroes that I think are very very good. Edith is an insane joiner, right? With 2020. But her other stats and her arena ability are very, very, very good. 
And since you can't use Geronimo anymore as a rally lead, it's obviously mandatory to you to start uh, getting these heroes. But as a rally lead, again, you would have any of those. She's going to be your KY and SVS hero. Now, Bradley, on the other hand, is going to be your lucky wheel hero. And this guy, guys, he's good as a joiner with 25% attack on all troops, right? Perfect joiner. This guy is absolutely mental for arena, right? This guy is crazy. The person that you could skip is technically Gordon because he's Hall of Heroes and he's not that crazy good. He's interesting. It's a very interesting Lancer boost as well for the for the for the rallies. We've played around with that a little bit, but again, not a necess necess necessity. So if you can get Edith Gordon. So now you should be at Edith Gordon. And then as a marksman hero, you should either be at Lynn. This is this is a solid lineup and this is me explaining it without actually spending a single cent on it or spending very minimal. We're not talking about thousands of dollars here. We're talking about a little amount of spending. But if you're smart and you know your place, then you won't spend to get him to five. You will spend to get him to four and be a perfect joiner because as a perfect joiner with the perfect troop average, so the troop, uh, uh, troop average, troop uh, level, you will always be more of a contributing person to your alliance than if you just push yourself, but your troops will always get left behind. Unless you push yourself and you can actually play with the big guns. That means you spend. That means you spend smart. That means you spend effective. But I think that covers it all for today. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of questions in the comments, a lot of them. Um, but I think we kind of went over it all. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please, please, please feel free to contact me, talk to me. I'm always available. I, you can join my Discord server, ask any questions. We have an awesome team that answers everything around the game. Um, I always answer pretty much all my comments. At least I try to keep up with them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try my best here to, to help you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, please, but uh, ask them after the video, after you watch the full video and it, and I'm already <laughs> guaranteeing that some people will be confused, but I hope um, I covered a lot of questions that I get usually towards the streams or in the streams or in the in the in the comment section as well. Um, stream wise, we'll be streaming Canyon Legion one this Saturday, 19 UTC and Foundry Legion one this Sunday, 19 UTC. So I hope to see many of you there. I will be give, uh, starting a new giveaway once this video is out. So go ahead join my discord and enter the giveaway uh, it's going to be a bigger one so i'm very very hyped for that and you know i always got to get back to you guys thank you so much for your support and once again huge shout out to paxify for sponsoring this video i'll see you guys on saturday peace